Hello my dear student, welcome to my short video. Let us do something during this lockdown. Instead of wasting our time and I'm doing this short video to help you understand and do your home assignment comfortably. Now, <clears throat> uh, the other days I have given you assignment on physics for class 9. Uh, on the topics, the motions. <clears throat> Let us recapitulate what we have learned in the chapters motions. Here, the question is what is motions? Uh, in our everyday life, we come across different phenomena like a bird flying in the sky, a vehicle or a car moving on the road, a fan rotating and a swing or a pendulum and we go to school from our home and reach our schools. These are related to the motions we are talking about. So, we can say that motion is nothing but if an object changes its positions from one point to another point in the passing of time or in the passage of time. So, these <coughs> motions can be classified into uh, basically three ways or three types. That is, a motion a body can move in a straight line or a, we call it linear motions or a body can also moves or change its positions in a circular manner that is called as rotatory motions or circulatory motions otherwise another type is a body can also move about to and fro or from side to side about a mean positions so those are the types of motions we have discussed and also there is a quantity that is related to motions like how far the body has moved and how far the body has displaced and also how fast the body is moving these are all the quantities related to it and it is simply termed as distance, displacement, and the speed of the object. So, <clears throat> motion can also be classified as uniform motions as well as non-uniform. What do we understand by uniform motions? When an object travels equal distance in equal interval of time, then that motion is called as uniform motions. Whereas, the other case, when a motion, a body, travels unequal distance in equal interval of time, or when a body travels equal distance in unequal interval of time, then that is called as non-uniform motions. Now, let us come back to our assignment, uh, which I have given you. Our job is to, that is the objective, is to find the distance and uh, the displacement of yourself and to determine the speed of yourself. Now, the activity is also given to you that you have to walk a distance from your home and turn right or turn left from that point and find out the uh, distance covered by you uh, or, and the displacement of that uh, activity and also make a sketch of your activity. Now to do this we require a measuring tab. <clears throat> a measuring tab. This measuring tabs can measure the distance covered by you and also we need paper to record it and a pen to record it, to use it while recording it, and a timepiece to record the time, 
and also if you need you can use the scale also set these are the things that you will require then at the end you have to conclude that your motions is whether uniform or non-uniform and also whether the displacement and the distance travels are same or not that is the questions now what you have to do let us go to this whiteboard that i have prepared <clears throat> here the pictures is about the sketch figures of your activity let's assume that a is the point of starting so that uh, it is a home your home and you travel straight to this b point and go to c point in this case a home is uh, initial positions and b is the intermediate point and c is the final positions now from a you travel to b now this distance can be named as x1 and the time taken to travel from a to b is t1 and also from b to c the distance covered you can say x2 and the time taken to travel from b to c is t2 make sure that your traveling from a to b and from b to c whether you are turning right or left this angle should be maintained assume as right angle so that there is no other argument for any justifications now <clears throat> when we come to the calculation part you will need this one and then to calculate the uh, required things the first thing is let us find out the distances to find the distances as i have told you that we have two things here one point a b distance we record it by measuring by the tap uh, in terms of x one meter then a b portions is over then second b c portions is x two meters then we calculate the total distance covered during this entire course of your uh, activity then a c we call it this the distance from a to b to b to c so this total distance or the total part length we can call it as total distance so ac is equal to ab plus bc and ab is x1 and bc is x2 so together makes it a quantity in meters then second part the time taken while you are traveling from a to c then first part a to b say t1 seconds and from b to c say t2 seconds now we calculate the total time this uh, time time taken say capital t is equal to together with this one t1 plus t2 seconds now the main point here uh, we calculate for the speed what is speed what is speed is uh, <clears throat> simply how fast an object is moving is a speed now uh, mathematically we can calculate the speed of an object by taking total distance divided by total time the total distance was calculated as x1 plus x2 meters and then total time is t1 plus t2 seconds <clears throat> now if you put the value of ac and capital t here you will get a quantity calculated and then find the quantity which is the speed of the object or yourself minus unit matters now uh, displacement to find the displacement reflected to, to the figures again here we assume that when you move your uh, yourself from a to c we start with from a to b and from b to c we turn right or left that is your wish now i if in these figures we have a to b and then turn right at an angle of 90 degree so uh, these figures come out to be a right triangle <clears throat> therefore displacement is nothing but the shortest distance between the initial positions and the final positions so 
this AC becomes the shortest distance. Whereas from A to B and B to C does not serve as a displacement because displacement means shifting of an object from one place to another place or from one point to another point. That is displacement. So to calculate the displacement, you can use an arithmetic knowledge like uh, Pythagoras theorem. <coughs> so using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find AC. AC is equal to root over BC square plus AB square. Now put the value of BC and AB and square it and add it and find the root. Then that becomes the uh, displacement of yourself. Now this is all about the uh, assignment that has been given to you. So you can enjoy this uh, video and consult it with this video if you have any doubt and if you have anything that you want to ask you can inquire from me by ring, uh, calling me in the numbers 825-891-3052 so that is all what we have stay safe and stay home thank you all